Hello guys, I am J. Mark M. Novabos. I am a second year BSIT student at Davao del Norte State College. I am under the advisory of Professor Mark Van Buladako. Today, I am going to discuss all about splay trees and its different kinds of rotation. What is a splay tree? A splay tree is another variant of a binary search tree. It is a self-adjusted binary search tree in which every operation of an element rearrange the tree so that the element is placed at the root position of the tree. In a splay tree, every operation is performed at the root of the tree. All the operations in a splay tree are involved with a common operation called splaying. What is splaying? Splaying is the process of bringing it to the root position by performing a suitable rotation operations. There are six examples of rotation operation in a splay tree. Zig rotation, zag rotation, zigzag -zig rotation, zag-zag rotation, zigzag rotation, and zag-zig rotation. Zig rotation. In zig rotation, every node moves one position to the right from its current position. We have a simple binary tree with a root node of element 5. Now we are going to splay element 3 using zig rotation. In zig rotation, the element 3 will be moved once to the right. So the result will be the element 3 will be the new root node, and the previous root node, which is element 5, will be the right child of the new root node. Zag rotation. In zag rotation, every node moves one position to the left from its current position. We are going to splay element 5 using zag rotation. In zag rotation, the element 5 will be moved once to the right. So the result will be, the element 5 will be the new root node. And the previous root node, which is element 3, will be the left child of the new root node. Zig-zig rotation. In zig-zig rotation, every node moves two positions to the right from its current position. We will splay element 2 using zigzag rotation. In zigzag rotation, the element 2 will be moved twice to the right. In first rotation, the element 3 will be the new root node. And the previous root node will be the right child, which is the element 5. And the left child will be element 2. Move element 2 again to the right. The result will be, the element 2 will be the new root node and the element 3 will be its right child along with the other nodes. Zag-zag rotation. In zag-zag rotation, every node moves two positions to the left from its current position. We will splay element 6 using zag-zag rotation. In zag-zag rotation, the element 6 will be moved twice to the left. In first rotation, the element 5 will be the new root node. And the previous root node, which is element 3, will be the left child. And the right child will be element 6. Again, move element 6 to the left. So the result will be, the element 6 will be the new root node. And the element 5 will be its left child along with the other node. Zigzag rotation. In zigzag rotation, every node moves one position to the right, followed by one position to the left from its current position. We will splay element 4 using zigzag rotation. In zigzag rotation, the element 4 will be moved once to the right and then move once to the left. In first rotation, the element 4 will move once to the right and it will become the parent node of element 5. Then, move element 4 once to the left. The result will be, the element 4 will be the new root node and the previous root node which is element 3 will be the left child and the element 5 will be the right child. Zag-zig rotation. In zag-zig rotation, every node moves one position to the left followed by one position to the right from its current position. We will splay element 4 using zag-zig rotation. In zag-zig rotation, the element 4 will be moved once to the left and then move once to the right. In first rotation, the element 4 will move once to the left, and it will become the parent node of element 3. 
then move element 4 once to the right. The result will be the element 4 will be the new root node, and the previous root node, which is element 5, will be its right child, and the element 3 will be its left child.